Welcome to the Quality 3D Scanner channel. This video introduces the unboxing and scanning of the Sermon X1. Insert the Type-C port of the data cable into the scanner and tighten the screws. Connect the DC power cable female connector of the data cable to the DC male connector of the adapter. Plug the Type-A port of the data cable into the USB 3.0 port of the computer. Plug the adapter into a power socket. You need to check whether your computer meets the scanning requirements before installing the scanning software. Cross lines are suitable for fast scanning of large objects. Next, we will take a card or as an example to demonstrate cross line scanning with photogrammetry. The Sermon X1 features a photogrammetry function. Using scale bars can effectively improve scanning accuracy. Add scale bars before scanning. Select the blue laser mode and global marker. Enable photogrammetry. Then scan the QR code to add the two included scale bars. Attach large reflective markers to the corridor surface. When applying, ensure they are randomly distributed with 60mm to 100mm spacing between points and placed on flat areas. Avoid sticking them on uneven or edge locations. Attach the scale bars to the corridor, placing them as vertically as possible. Before scanning, you need to create a new project. Scan settings. Select global marker as the scan mode. Check photogrammetry. Then click preview. Point the scanner at the car door with the reflective markers attached. And adjust to the optimal distance. Adjust the camera exposure so the markers in the IR window at the top right do not appear red or blue. After setting the exposure, Maintain the optimal distance, click Start, and scan the two scale bars and markers on the car door completely. After confirming the scan is complete, click Finish. Switch the scan mode to point cloud scanning. 
set real-time resolution to 0.5 mm. Select the laser type as cross lines and click Preview. Obtain the optimal distance and adjust the laser brightness so the laser lines in the IR window at the top right do not appear red or disappear. After setting the laser brightness, click Start and scan the car door completely until the quality map turns blue. After confirming the scan is complete, click Finish. Hold Shift and left click to select the point clouds you want to delete. Then confirm the deletion. Select the data on the left, then click Fusion. Click Meshing. You can choose the desired format to explore the model. Parallel lines are suitable for fine scanning, while single line is suitable for deep hole scanning. Next, we will take an automotive connector as an example to demonstrate parallel line and single line scanning. Attach small reflective markers to the desktop around the objects. When attaching them, Ensure they are randomly distributed with a spacing of 20 mm to 50 mm between markers. Scan settings. Select point cloud scan mode. Set the real time resolution to 0.3 mm. Choose parallel lines, then click preview. Once ready, click start. Scan the object from different angles with parallel lines to ensure full coverage. Click Finish. Click Fusion. Click Meshing. Infrared mode is suitable for fast scanning and supports geometry, texture, and marker tracking. Next, we will use a parent model as an example to demonstrate quick scanning in infrared mode. For small to medium sized objects, you can place them on a turntable to assist with scanning. For full tutorial, see Quality Scan 4, new software tutorial on our homepage. This concludes the unboxing and scanning demonstration of the Sir Moon X1. Follow our channel to learn more scanning tips.